In this video, we are going to explain a feature in pivot tables that not a lot of people know about, which is the solve order. So here we have a pivot table that is based on the data in this table. So as you can see here, it's the sales for some fruits. And we have a calculated item for berries that we created. So if you go to fields, items, and sets after selecting berries or any of these items, you have to select an item. You can't select, for example, one of the numbers here. Otherwise, you will have the calculated item option dimmed. So after selecting an item, you can go to pivot table, analyze, and then fields, items, and sets, go to calculated item. And we have a berries calculated item, which is simply the summation of raspberry plus strawberry. So this number here for January is simply the summation of these two numbers. And for February is the summation of these two numbers and so on and so forth. So this is one calculated item that we have. And we have another calculated item. If we go here to pivot table analyze, it's the Q1 percentage and the Q1 percentage calculated item is simply the summation of sales for January, February, and March divided by the summation of sales for the whole year. And you can see here that the result is 52.85%. This is for berries. And so that's for strawberry and raspberry. However, 52.85% is not the correct figure. It's the sales for Q1 only, the first quarter of the year only, and it's not more than 50% of the total sales. It actually should be around 25%, and this is not the correct figure. If we select any cell on our pivot table and then go to fields, items, and sets, go to solve order, and you'll see here that we have a certain solve order for calculating the two formulas that we created. If we change the solve order here and move one formula down, so this means that this will be executed first and then the second one will be executed afterwards and press close, you can see here that we do get the correct figure and I'll show you why this is the correct figure and why the other figure, the 52% was the incorrect figure. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is the correct figure for the Q1 percentage for berries, which is the summation of raspberry and strawberry, as we explained before. And how we would arrive at this figure is simply by adding up the sales for the first quarter, January, February, and March for strawberry and for raspberry, so the summation is 412,936. If I click on it here on the bottom right corner, it will copy the figure and then I will paste it here as you can see. And then we would add up the sales for the whole year for both raspberry and strawberry. I'll just copy it and paste it here. It's 1,561,962. And so if we divide this figure, which is the Q1 by the total figure for the whole year, it's 26%, as you can see here, 26.44%, which is the same figure that we have here. So how did we arrive at the other incorrect figure, which we can get if we go to pivot table, analyze, and then fields, items, and sets, solve order. And if we change the solve order and make this calculation be done first here, we will arrive at that 52.85% figure. So here for this figure, the order of calculations was to add raspberry and strawberry and then divide the Q1 by the total sales. So we added first, we did the addition first, and then we did the division second. However, for this figure to arrive at that figure, what is going to happen is that we're going to do the division first, and then we're going to do the addition. So let me show you what's going to happen here. So first we'll get the Q1 figure for raspberry, which is 197,078 here. So this is Q1. These are the figures for raspberries and strawberries. So this is the Q1 figure for raspberry. And then we'll get the Q1 figure for strawberry. This number here, 215,858. And then we'll get the total figure. So the total sales figure for each. So for raspberries, it's going to be this figure here, 755,948. And for strawberry, it's going to be 806,014. And then if we do the Q1 percentage, 
which is simply going to be Q1 divided by the total. And we do that for both strawberries and raspberries. We get the Q1 for each. However, guess what happens when we add them? We arrive at this 52.85% figure here. So in this order of calculation, we did the division first. We divided Q1 by the total first. We did that first, and then we added the results from the division. So we did the division first and then the addition instead of doing the addition first and then the division. So this is the correct way of doing it. This is the incorrect way of doing it. And this can happen to you if you have a number that is the intersection of two calculations. These could be calculated items or calculated fields. And this is an example of how the solve order can make or break your calculations. So you can go to pivot table analyze and then fields, items and sets, solve order and change the solve order here to the correct order, which is addition first and then division and then close and you arrive at the correct figure. So that's it for today's video. If you've watched until this point, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments if you knew about the solve order feature in pivot tables or not and whether this would have saved you from making an error or a mistake in the past because there was a calculation that you did on a pivot table and you didn't know why the calculation was incorrect. Let me know all that in the comments below. Also, if you would like to up your pivot tables game using DAX and the data models by learning Power Pivot, I have a course about learning Power Pivot and DAX for beginners. I'll leave you the link below in the description with a special discount code as well so make sure to check it out below please don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified with all the upcoming videos and don't forget to follow us on social media you'll find the links below in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video